Hello, this is the DSC Neo Alarm Panel, and in this video, I will show you how to wire the M to M communicator for key switch and how to program the alarm panel for key switch functionality. Starting with the wiring of our communicator, we have the positive and negative wires of the radio. The positive is the red wire, and that goes to the aux power positive terminal of the alarm panel. The black is the negative wire, and that goes to the aux power negative terminal of the panel. The next two wires we have are the white and orange wires. The white wire is the input of our communicator and that goes straight to PGM1. The orange wire is the output of our communicator and that goes to zone 1. The last two wires that we have are the green and yellow wires. The green is our telco ring wire and that goes to the telco ring terminal of the panel. And the yellow wire is our telco tip wire, and that goes to the telco tip terminal of the panel. The next part of our setup will be the programming for key switch. In order to go into the programming of the system, I will need to enter star 8, and then I will need to enter my 4-digit installer code, which is 5555. The first section that I'll need to go to will be section 001. Then I'm going to need to press star to go to the zone definitions of zone 1. I'm going to need to set zone 1 as a momentary key switch zone, so I will enter 066. Then I'm going to press pound to go back, and pound again to go to the main menu of the alarm panel. The next section that I'll need to go to will be section 013. This is the section for the normally closed loops of the panel. This option should be disabled. On my end, it's already disabled, so I'm going to go back into the main menu of the panel. The next section I'm going to go to is 009, and that is the section for the programmable output. I will need to press 001 to select PGM1, and then I'll need to enter 115 to set the PGM to send the open and close reports. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to press pound twice, and I'm going to go out of programming of the system. The next thing that I'm going to do is start the synchronization process from the R control application. I will press sync with panel. And now the application will ask me what is the pin code that I want to use for arming and disarming. I will enter 1, 2, 3, 4, and then enter again to confirm, and then press OK. The R control application will ask me to arm my alarm system locally. I'm going to press OK on the message, and then I'll arm the system in away mode. I'll press 1, 2, 3, 4, and that will start the exit delay of my system. Now the R control application will wait for the initial status of the panel. And once we have that, we will see the buttons for arming and disarming. We already have the button, so I want to disarm the panel. I will slide the button to the right and then enter my four digit pin code. And now my system is disarmed. If I want to arm the system, I will slide the button to the left and then once again enter my four digit pin code and that will arm the panel. 